Hi gang! This neat little thing I made is an inchworm. It uses a nitinol wire memory alloy and the energy from heat to move across a tabletop. How's it work? There's a nitinol wire shaped as a coil under here. That wire is a form of shape memory alloy and the shape I programmed it to remember is this compressed coil shape. Here it is on its own, connected to this power supply. I first stretch out the wire and when I turn on the electricity, the wire heats up, causing it to go back to its remembered shape. Well, the same thing happens when the coil is here. I turn on the electricity, the coil heats up and goes to its remembered shape, pulling the back leg forward a bit. At the same time though, it also compresses this V-shaped wire on top here. That V-shaped wire is basically a spring. With the electricity turned off, the nitinol wire cools and weakens. The V-shaped wire spring then takes over by expanding, pushing the legs apart again, completing one full step. The nitinol wire coil and V-shaped spring take turns bringing the legs closer and spreading them apart again. To keep a certain amount of friction, the feet have little bristles or semi-stiff hairs under them. To help it move in one direction, notice that the coil is connected at different points on the legs. Also, this leg is shorter than this one. And the way the spring is connected also helps. As you can see, it moves slowly due to the time it takes this nitinol wire to cool. Here it is sped up. The distance it can travel is limited by the pull of these wires. But if I hold the wires as it moves, then it's freer to do what it wants. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more neat videos like this. That includes one where I show step by step how I made this nitinol inchworm, another on how to use nitinol wire in general, with more demos, and for variety, one on how a rocket works to get from Earth to space, using SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket as an example. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon!